Hey y'all, I'm back with another project share. This is an embellishment box swap that I am doing with one of my friends on Instagram. Our theme was under the sea and I chose to focus more on the mermaid side of that. So here is the top of my box. All of these die cuts here are from a die set that I found at Michael's. I did not think to bring it with me, sorry y'all, uh, to show you what it looks like, but it comes with the conch shell, the, you know, I don't really know what this type of shell is called because I'm forgetting right now, um, a starfish, and two different mermaids. Uh, this one, the I paper pieced this together, but her little top pieces were so tiny, it was really difficult. To cut them out so I just um, used some rhinestones and I'm sure as you could tell I kind of went for an um, aerial vibe here um, these acrylic flowers are from Hobby Lobby so what I did is I just used a couple different types of paper and their different dimensions here so as you can see this is that metallic paper from Hobby Lobby the embossing shows up really well on that if you look real close you can kind of see it on the glitter paper but it's not near as noticeable as it is on not glitter because her tail here is embossed which is hard to see but you can really see it on her skin and her hair um, at the top here this is a cut apart from this paper collection all this paper on top is from the same collection it was from Michael's last summer it may have been one of the hot buy paper pads. I'm sure it probably was, but I don't know for sure. I couldn't even tell you what it was called. Sorry about that. It is all mermaid under the sea theme though. Um, and then I made a stick pin that I stuck behind the little tag here. So the pins I've gotten to where I've had to order them on Amazon. Hobby Lobby used to carry them, but they don't anymore. So these starfish beads, actually, all of these beads I got at Joann's. So then the trim around the edge all comes from Hobby Lobby. This is just a fringe. And then this is like these, they're kind of flat backed um, pearls. I liked them because they looked like something you would find in the ocean. Okay, so then inside I put just a little bit of crinkle paper in each little compartment just to kind of fill in the empty spaces and kind of pop everything up. So I made this tassel and all of these beads are from Joann's. This pearl is old, just something I've had in my bead box. I couldn't even tell you where I got it. This silver fringy trim, I'm pretty sure I found that at Walmart, maybe Hobby Lobby at Christmas time. But then this pearl dewdrop, teardrop trim is from Hobby Lobby. And I happened to find these. Um, this these actually came with these white glittery shells this is something new i had noticed they're in with the buttons that you find in the paper craft section with um like the their disney buttons and some i think are called knickknacks but then the, the paper studio has its own brand and what was nice about these they were already flat back they weren't buttons so it was something new i had seen there and then i made her two of the same stick pin that I had on the top of the box but the exact same beads and then in here these are I have some there's like three of these they're all different shells that I had in my stash that I included and in here I just included more of from the die cuts that I cut so here you can see how the embossing really shows up nice on non-glitter paper. And then I made these. Normally they're called inchies because they're supposed to be an inch. Or I've heard of twinchies, which are two inches. And these are kind of in the middle, so I'm not sure what you want to call these. But I saw these stickers at Hobby Lobby. And I thought they were really cute and I felt like I needed to use them for something and something I really like to use these for is to put on little cards especially when you send them in your swaps 
you also could decorate your embellishment boxes with them I've done this before I have a previous video that I've already uploaded when I did the embellishment box swap with scrap the world I made one I think it was more exactly one inch and I used it to embellish the top of my box so you can use those for a couple different things and then I just included some pearl beads and some C colored buttons that I had in my stash so I just felt like pearls are kind of you know they're under the sea ish and then the buttons are kind of watercolors so I thought those worked and then these are just some little tassels I had left over and I felt like the colors kind of went with our theme again so I did that and then these flowers I know flowers are not necessarily under the sea but I'm kind of into doing these at the moment so I decided to do a couple to send with her I actually got this idea from Tamika on scrap the world I'll link her video that I saw below so she just bought these flowers from Hobby Lobby and she used some sprays and inks to um, kind of add some color to them she bought white I bought pink and I just used an ink pad to go around the edges just to give it some dimension and then I have these little sprays that I buy from the floral department that I love to use so I included some of those and then the little I'm not really sure what these are called but they're also in the floral department too so I did a couple of flowers there this little container just has more of the pearls because they wouldn't all fit in one container I made some bows this is an SVG file I got for free off of I think it was my scrap chick she has a freebie every Friday and I like this bow SVG I cut it out with my Cricut because it's double layered and this is from that same the same paper collection the top part and then the gold metallic is just cardstock from Hobby Lobby and then this plaid paper it's harder to find at Hobby Lobby they're more limited in the colors and then this is just white cardstock that I embossed and these little this little fish I got in a swap a while ago this is um, a gemstone from Hobby Lobby and then this is part of the little button pack that the mermaid came in that I put on the tassel over here all of these are sequins that I found at the Dollar Tree and I picked the blues and greens again because it's like water, you know, water, seaweed, algae, stuff that you find in the ocean. So I went with that color. And then I had these paper clips. It's a mermaid and a seahorse. I think these are newer at Hobby Lobby. At least they're newer at our Hobby Lobbies in my area. I just saw, so I thought I had to include those because they were really cute. And then I included, I gave her the rest of the sticker sheet from me making the little these little squares right here these uh I think these are by the uh, La Petite I think is what it's called so these are the three colors that come in the package so this is my embellishment box and I will do another video when I receive my box from my friend and I will make sure that I link her YouTube channel in that video so you can check her out. Thanks for watching.